Wednesday, May 31st. So can you believe it's the last day of May? I can't. Time flies by so fast. I say that all the time, but it's just crazy how fast it goes. But anyway, I am on my way home from work. I worked in the office today. So I worked in the office yesterday and today. So I'm on my way home. I have recorded everything that I've eaten today. So I'll show you pictures as I talk about it. So first thing this morning, I had an iced coffee on my way to work. Um, finished it up at work. I'm counting that as four points. That had a little bit of the caramel macchiato creamer and some light cream in it. And then after that, I had a banana for one point. And then I had a nice big bowl of watermelon. Um, I'm counting that as two points. And then I had two rice cakes with peanut butter. I'm counting for um, a point for each rice cake and then a point for the peanut butter on each uh, rice cake. So I'm counting four points total. And then I have my lunch. That was pasta salad with black olives, green olives, pasta, and some colored peppers, red and orange um, colored peppers. So I'm counting that bowl of pasta salad for eight points. And then, and that had some of the Ken's Northern Italian dressing on it. Um, and then, with that, I had a third of a cup of cottage cheese. That's the regular fat cottage cheese. So that is two points. And then this afternoon, I just had some of the mini peppers. I really love those mini peppers. Those are so good. And I've had two bags of mini peppers for a few weeks now. And I just haven't, I haven't cut them up. And because I haven't cut them up, I haven't eaten any of them. And so last night I came home from work and I cut up all of the peppers. At first I was like, well, I'll cut up one bag and then I'll cut up the other bag. But I'm like, no. After I cut up the first bag, I'm like, you know what? I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I'm just going to cut up the second bag as well. And then I'll have them and I'll eat them. And the dogs love them too. So <laughs> it's a great snack for, for the dogs and they absolutely love them. So I cut up both, both bags and then I can share, I can share with the dogs too, but I plan on eating quite a few. I had a nice big bowl of them this afternoon. So, and that was a really, really nice treat and I really enjoyed that. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm proud of myself that I did that because I, and, and I cut up, I had, um, six bell peppers and a couple of them I had to throw pieces of them out because I had had them in the refrigerator so long. So I was proud of myself that I came home last night and I cut them all up and got them all ready. I think I'm going to use the diced up um, bell peppers, colored bell peppers in maybe an omelet or uh, scrambled eggs or something like that tomorrow. And then I have some diced ham that I hadn't used and so I threw it that in the freezer. I diced it up and then put it in portions and put it in the freezer. So I have that that I can throw in my omelet or some, you know, or an egg scramble. So yeah, um, I'm feeling good. Yesterday I was feeling, I felt like I was feeling amazing. I felt in the morning, especially in the morning, I felt like my pants weren't tight and I just felt really good. Um, and yesterday I, there's at work, there's, it's not two flights of stairs, but it's like a flight, a landing, and then a little flight. So it's a little flight, a landing, a little flight. So usually lately, especially since I've gained all of this weight, um, when I go up those stairs, I get up the top and I am completely out of breath, completely. Like I feel exhausted, can't catch my breath type, completely out of breath. But um, yesterday I went up the stairs and I got up the top and I didn't think anything about it and I did what I needed to do. And then I went back down and I thought, I don't think I was out of breath when I got up there. So then I went up the stairs again just to see and and I wasn't. I, I mean, I was, I was out of breath getting up to the top, like I felt like it was normal out of the breath, 
out of my breath getting up to the top. But, you know, because like I said, lately it's been like out of breath, out of breath, like can't catch my breath type thing. So I was really excited about that. And I went up there once today, I think. And it was the same way. I felt maybe, I felt like maybe today it was a little bit more, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that because I haven't been exercising. So it's not, it's not the exercising thing. Um, although I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos that my thyroid, um, numbers were off the last time the doctor did blood work when I went in for my heart palpitations. So, um, he's upped, he upped my, doubled my dose, um, cause I was on a very small dose of the Levithyroxin and so he doubled it. So I've been taking the, the 50 MCGs, I think it is, I think that's what it's called. Um, I've been taking 50 of the Levithyroxin for three or four weeks and I'm almost wondering because I haven't had a heart palpitation, just little twinges here and there, but not like exhausting like it was, has been for the last couple of months. I haven't had a real big heart palpitation since last Thursday. So we're almost going on a week, five days. So I was really excited about that when I was thinking about that. I didn't think about it until Sunday and I was like, Mark. I don't think I've had a heart palpitation since Thursday because I didn't have one Friday and I didn't have one on Saturday and I was kind of wondering if the heart palpitations had to do with the caffeine that I was drinking, but I'd had caffeine on Saturday and then I didn't have any on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and then today's Wednesday and just um, yesterday and today I had little twinges but not nothing, nothing big. And... So I got thinking about it and I'm like, does that correlate with, uh, my levothyroxin that being, uh, you know, um, increased. And so I looked to see if, um, you can have heart palpitations and shortness of breath if your thyroid is off and you can. So I'm wondering now if the, the, tr I feel like, you know, like I'm, with the more weight, I'm going to be out of breath anyway, but it like, it felt extreme lately. And, um, and then the, I, I felt like the weight gain has been out of control. My eating has not been like weight loss worthy, but I don't feel like it's been 60 pounds gaining worthy either. You know what I mean? So I have to wonder if hopefully the heart palpitations had to do with my thyroid the extreme shortness of breath had to do with my thyroid and I'm hoping that maybe my weight gain has something to do with my thyroid too because the last two weeks I haven't gained any weight I haven't lost any but I haven't gained any so and I you know there was weeks and weeks and weeks on end that sometimes I was gaining two or three pounds a week. And then, you know, sometimes I wouldn't gain any and then I would gain the two or three pounds again. And I, you know, and when this has been happening, I'd say to Mark, you know, I didn't eat the best, but I didn't eat, you know, a two pound gain, two or three pound gain, three or four weeks in a row there, I'm, I'm th you know, I'm just like, there's no way. So I'm really hoping that my thyroid being off has to do with, um, my weight gain and my heart palpitations and the shortness of breath, extreme shortness of breath. I'm really hoping that that all correlates with my thyroid and we can get my thyroid under control and maybe I'll see a difference. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm wondering, I'm hoping. <laughs> so anyway, um, we'll see what the scale says tomorrow. I don't know. Like I said, the last two weeks I haven't gained any, I haven't lost. I haven't really lost. I mean, maybe a, like a half a pound, um, or 0.2. I think last week was 0.2 and the week before that was 0.4 loss. So, you know, not, not huge losses, but there hasn't been any gains, which is at this point, 
that, that's what I have, I have been fearing, you know, is the gains. So, um, how do you, I haven't even been thinking about losses because the gains have been so out of control that I, if I, if I stayed the same, it just felt good to have just stayed the same. So anyway, we'll see what June brings and we'll see if there's, if I'm able to lose any weight in June and maybe, maybe get this under control, you know, I don't know. I, I did. I felt really good yesterday and I've felt pretty good today. So when your thyroid is off and my levels aren't, I think your numbers being extremely off are like over 10 of whatever that measurement is. I don't know what the letters are that are with it or the words, but anyway, the number, um, being over 10, I think is like extreme. Your thyroid is extremely off and my number isn't, isn't 10. It was like when I went to the doctors, it was like six. And so it isn't like extremely off, but normal is like 3.5. So it was off. So, and I suppose everybody's body can like, um, be affected differently with that too. So anyway, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that it has to do with my thyroid and maybe I'll get some answers from some of this and maybe, maybe I'll see some loss. I'm hoping for some loss in June. That's what I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping for some loss. I know I can do it. And if, and if some of the gain had to do with my thyroid, then maybe, maybe I can actually, maybe, maybe I will see some loss. So anyway, um, I'm almost home, so I will let you go and I'm not positive. I have a few ideas about dinner, but I'm not positive what we're doing for dinner. But when I have that ready, I will show you that and any snack I eat after dinner, probably, probably one of the fruit bars, but anyway, all right, well, I will talk to you later. I'm having two Lime Out Shine Fruit Bars, one point a piece. Okay, so here is my track for the day. It finished at negative seven, so not the greatest, but still not too bad either. Um, I just, I didn't count any like activity points, but I did write down that I did the stairs at work a few times. And I drank almost a half a gallon of water, so that's good. Um, so I had my iced coffee and the banana and then the watermelon. I had two rice cakes with peanut butter and the pasta salad. And I had the cottage cheese with that. And then I had the mini peppers in the afternoon. And then for dinner, I had the spaghetti. I counted that with the meat sauce for 10 points. With some Parmesan cheese, I counted um, one point for the Parmesan cheese. I had two rolls, I showed you one. And, and then I had another one with some butter. So the rolls are two point a piece and then I just counted a point for a little bit of butter. And then I had two fruit bars for two points. So yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.